Next up, brother, we got Bill Algeo taking on Alexander Hernandez. And for me, this is a prove it spot for Alexander Hernandez. You know, until he proves it, I can't I can't side with him. At 145 pounds, I did not think he looked very good last time out. Um, I thought that he struggled in that spot. And he said going in, you know, my uh, D wasn't working. Like I'm having physical problems. I, there's so little uh, food that I could eat. So now, you know, he gets a win at 155 over a 39-year-old Jim Miller, who's a, a great fighter, but Basically, Hernandez could just keep the fight upright. Jim Miller has less cardio than Alexander Hernandez, so more power to him. But in any case, he doesn't finish Jim. Now he's cutting back down to 145 pounds. I don't know about Alexander Hernandez, man. I, I haven't liked what I've seen from him in extended fights. Bill Algeo's never been knocked out. He hasn't been submitted since the regional scene. So for me, I just look at this and I say, Bill Algeo, maybe he gets knocked out here for the first time. Anything's possible. It's MMA. But if that doesn't happen, I think – Hernandez is in for a tough fight because Hernandez likes to throw a lot early. He likes to spend himself looking for finishes. If he doesn't do that here, Bill Algeo is going to try and pick away at him. He's going to try and get in the clinch, grab a hold of him, lean on him, and just make it a sloppy, ugly fight. And I feel like Bill has been in a million of those, and he thrives in those. And I think the opposite is true of Alex. So I just like Bill to get this done either in the later stretches or via decision. Um, you know, I kind of think back to uh, who was it, Billy Q's last fight that went to decision. Um, but he ended up landing uh, the important shots in round two and three to get the win. I could see that being the case here as well, uh, because Hernandez sometimes toughs it out, right? The Tiago Moises fight, he got pretty cleanly, soundly outboxed for that fight, but he didn't end up quitting in that fight. He just fought out the 15 minutes and then rode off into the sunset. I think he might do the same here. So give me uh, Bill Algeo. I think he's going to get the win, and uh, I think it's going to be a close fight, though. So I uh, don't know if I'm going to get to the window on this one, but. I like Bill to get it done. Also, the it's like three to one on Bill by sub. Pretty low number, in my view. I wanted. I was thinking about betting it because I was like, I don't think he's going to TKO him, but I think he'll wear him down, and then Alex will eventually just give up a bad position, but um, not at three to one for me. Yeah, the line movement's wild on this one. Um, I don't think there's some injury on the Bill side. I think it's just people... Um, I don't know, watching some tape, liking Alex or whatever it is. But I don't think there's some injury driving the line. Um, I think the way I'd attack this one is Hernandez by decision, which is plus 300, or Algio by uh, submission, which you can get 350, 390 on one of the books, Unibet. Uh, I don't really see it going either way um, outside of that. So, yeah, that's how I target. I'm staying away uh, myself. I don't know how people can be super confident especially when you see Alex at 145 last time, um, you know, then he beats Jim Miller. So what um, doesn't really mean much, you know, Jim's notoriously round one or bust. So yeah, I don't see how people can be super confident on either side, man. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd just advise maybe take a shot at one of the props that does seem to be both guys path to victory, you know, the decision for Alex or the sub for Algeo, man. Um, but yeah, personally, I'm staying away, man. Fair play. And yeah, this is a, a fight that kind of screams a little bit of volatility. The line movement, a little bit alarming for me as well. I'm going to watch this space. You know, I, I'm going to watch this space. I'm going to see what information I could get. And, um, but again, m for me, it's a long term ABC. Say, so always bet on cardio and the proven guy. Algio's gone out there at 145 pounds and put it on the line with tough guys before. He's not getting finished. He's going out there and scrapping. So I just think about that and I say, like, I don't know. I feel like Bill Algeo is a more proven featherweight for sure than a guy like Alexander Hernandez. You're betting on upside with Hernandez and that's fine. But I just think if you want a more proven commodity for this weight class, it's Bill Algeo. 